Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ikea. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining. And if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. You are a real one. Y'all, today is all about the House of Siage. I feel like we've been doing quite a few House of Siage videos over here on this channel. And why not? Because we love House of Siage. So the House of Siage has launched yet again another fragrance. Y'all, they are not stopping in 2021. So they have launched another fragrance, which is in addition to their Whispers in the Garden collection. And I am going to be telling you all about this fragrance. I am going to be letting you know my thoughts and letting you know if I think it is blind by worthy. So if you're interested, then keep on watching. So before we get into the video, be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Also, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And comment down below if you're a House of Siage fan and let me know what your favorite House of Siage fragrance is or if you're looking to get a new fragrance and you maybe have something on your wish list from the House of Siage, let me know what you're planning to get. So I'm going to stop rambling and we're going to go ahead and get started. So the House of Siage has released another fragrance this year. I think this is their third release of 2021. If I'm not mistaken, it's either their third or their fourth release. And this is another addition to the Whispers in the Garden collection. And y'all, so far the Whispers in the Garden collection has been amazing. I really loved um, Whispers of Truth Noir. Really, really love that one. I still wear it all the time. And then I also have Whispers of Temptation. That one smells so good. But they have also introduced a new fragrance, which, which is called Whispers of Enchantment and I have it right here in this really beautiful House of Siage box. So I am going to show y'all what the packaging looks like of this fragrance. So right here we have the beautiful Whispers of Enchantment and y'all this packaging is so gorgeous. It kind of reminds me of Passions de L'Amour with the green and the gold but it is so, so beautiful. So I'm gonna give y'all a close up of this one. So Whispers of Enchantment has 18 karat yellow gold, and there are also 100 Swarovski diamonds on here. Y'all, this packaging just blew me away. I am seriously obsessed with the packaging at the House of Siage. I feel like it just makes me so excited every time I open up a package from them because you know that it's going to be amazing. You know it's going to be luxurious. And come on, look at how beautiful this cupcake is. Honestly, they don't have too many cupcakes that I don't really like as in their packaging. The packaging is just gorgeous on all of the cupcakes. So when I saw this new cupcake and I saw that it was like this green color, I was so excited. Like it's just so perfect and so beautiful. So we're gonna go ahead and get into the juice of this fragrance and then I'm gonna let y'all know my thoughts. Okay, so I have a few notes on this fragrance. So Whispers of Enchantment, it takes you to a world filled with sultry bliss and extravagant sensuality. This is supposed to escape into an enduring pleasure where the rush of blossoming jasmine, sensual musk, sparkling mandarin and leather with patchouli come to life through an undeniable chemistry. Discover an escape of endless possibilities and moments. There's also a disclaimer down here. It says that this will cause a instant rush of euphoria. So in the top notes, there's sparkling mandarin. There's also pedigree and geranium. In the heart notes, there's jasmine, rose, and wild sage. And then at the base notes, there's sensual musk, leather, and patchouli. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So I'm gonna spread this on my testing strip first. Mmm. Y'all, this fragrance is so good. Now, I'll be quite honest, this is not a first impression review of this fragrance because ever since I got it, I've actually been spraying it around. So it's not a first impression, but anyway, y'all, this smells really, really, really good. 
So when I first smelled this fragrance, and even now that I'm smelling it, I definitely get that kick of Mandarin. That is the first note that stands out to me. The Mandarin stands out as well as the Jasmine, and it is so beautiful. Mm. Once this fragrance dries down, you definitely get some patchouli and a little bit of leather. It makes it a little smoky and a little spicy. But that mandarin still remains the most prominent note to me in this fragrance. And it is such a beautiful mandarin scent, y'all. I get when it says sparkling mandarin. It's not like a super heavy citrus kind of scent. It just smells really beautiful. It adds a little bit of sweetness to this fragrance. But again, mixed with that leather and that patchouli and the jasmine and a little bit of that rose, Oh my gosh, y'all. This fragrance is just so good. Mm, 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 mm. I'm going to spray it on my skin now and let y'all know what notes kind of stand out on my skin a little bit. So again, definitely in that opening, I'm still smelling that mandarin and it just smells so beautiful. Uh, I feel like the House of Siage really did a good job on this fragrance. I'm not going to go too into my thoughts just yet, but they really did a good job on this. So I'm not really smelling a ton of sage and I don't really smell a lot of geranium either, but that mandarin is really standing out to me along with the jasmine once it's dried down that patchouli really kicks in and that leather now the leather note in here is not overpowering it's not super strong i know how sometimes leather can really take over a fragrance and it can be too much the leather in here is actually not too much and i also do get that musk too once it dries down and it kind of just makes it a little sweet and a little bit more warm Warm, but y'all this fragrance is really really good I like this a lot this actually might be my favorite from their whispers in the garden launch that they've done this year this one might be my favorite um, I really love whispers of truth noir but this one it just it's, it just does something to me it just smells so good uh, okay, y'all. I'm just gonna spray this all over because it just smells phenomenal and I'm here for this fragrance. So this fragrance contains 20% oil concentration, which is a pretty decent amount of oil for um, an Eau de Parfum, but the House of Siage, I've noticed that they actually typically have pretty high oil concentrations with most of their fragrances and that really does help for them to be a little bit more long lasting. They also help to make the fragrances project more as well. So I'm really happy that this one has 20% because that is great. So for my thoughts on this fragrance, if you already don't know, I really do love this fragrance. I think it smells so, so good. And honestly, I feel like they came out with this fragrance at the perfect time. This is like the perfect fragrance to transition into fall. It's still got this fruity and floralness to it, but it's also warm. So I just feel like I could wear this right now and I can wear this in the fall time. And it is like the perfect transition fragrance. And I've also been kind of on the hunt for more transition fragrances as we're going into the cooler months. And I feel like they hit the nail on this one. It's not not super fruity it's not super floral and it's not one of those light florals and light fruity scents like a juicy fruity one to where it can only last like in the hot weather specifically in the summer this fragrance it is just perfect for the time that we're in right now and definitely as we get into the cooler months I would say that this fragrance could be worn during the day and at nighttime honestly I could see somebody wearing this to like a happy hour or brunch with the girls. I feel like that leather makes it very smoky, but it also makes this fragrance very sexy. So this is one of those fragrances where I feel like it's not in your face kind of sexy, in your face kind of over the top, but it is still very captivating. It's still very alluring and 
once you get a whiff of it, I feel like you're just going to be all into somebody's world and you're definitely going to be captivated. Um, I think that this fragrance is, again, perfect for the daytime and nighttime. Again, as I mentioned, I definitely think that you could wear this to brunch, even to a day party. Or if you were doing something like at nighttime, something maybe like a casual date night would be great with this fragrance. I probably would still wear this too, even if I was doing like a sexy date night. But this isn't one of those like over the top kind of sexy fragrances. I just think that this is perfect though, especially if you're doing something that's a little bit more casual, a little bit more low key, but you still want to turn heads. I think that this fragrance is perfect for that. And again, I feel like how to Siage just hit the nail with this fragrance and the timing couldn't be better because when I smell this I think of the the transition that we're in right now we're going into fall but it's not quite fall just yet so this fragrance is perfect to me it's still got this sweetness and it's got a little smokiness to it and y'all it just smells phenomenal i feel like i can't rave about this fragrance enough but it just smells so so good overall i'm a huge fan of whispers of enchantment i think this might be my favorite of the house of siage releases that they have come out with this year so far this one just smells so good to me i want to say this is my favorite because it is the perfect transition fragrance as we're going into fall if you are looking for a fragrance to transition into the cooler months i would definitely recommend this one i also think that this fragrance is a great blind buy fragrance i think that this one isn't over the top it's not super offensive it is a little warm and it does have like a spice and a smokiness to it but again that smokiness is isn't overbearing and it doesn't take over the entire fragrance. This mainly is giving me mandarin and floral and yes I do smell that leather but it's mainly a mandarin and floral warm kind of scent. So this is more like a warm floral to me but that smokiness again is not taking over the life of the fragrance. So I do feel like this is a great blind buy fragrance to purchase if you're interested but I am just so happy with this scent. I cannot stop spraying it. I've worn it out a few times already and I've actually gotten compliments on it and I will continue to wear this y'all. I'll probably be wearing this all fall so be on the lookout for more fall content because this fragrance will probably be in more fall videos but I am just a huge fan of this fragrance. Shout out to the House of Siage. I feel like y'all just have been on it okay. Y'all are not stopping but y'all really did a fantastic job on this release. I'm a huge, huge fan of Whispers of Enchantment, and I definitely recommend this to anybody that is interested. So that is everything, y'all. I thank you so much for watching this video. Again, be sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also, be sure to follow me on social media. You can check me out on Instagram. You can also check me out on Twitter and on TikTok. My handles will be linked down below in the description box. Also, be sure to comment and let me know what your favorite House of Siage fragrance is or one that you have on your wish list. But that is everything, y'all. I thank you again for watching this video. I hope you have a great one and stay safe. Bye!